Speed cameras and drag racing are both on the agenda for votes in Chicago City Council. Eric Rung is live at City Hall with more. Eric. Well, good morning. A new ordinance really aimed at cracking down on drag racing is expected to pass. It would allow authorities to impose hefty fines and also impound drivers who are imp impound the cars of drivers when they're caught. Last weekend, dozens of cars shut down a downtown intersection. You can see drivers doing donuts and driving recklessly. It is hardly a one-off event. Many are advertised online. Yesterday, city leaders met at a parking lot at 71st and Pulaski, where drag racers also met over the weekend. Tire marks still stain the pavement there. Police say these events can and do lead to other cars, people, and even police officers getting hit by the reckless driver. This new ordinance would allow police to track the cars and impound them, as well as impose a fine of $5,000. With the investments that my colleagues and I have been making uh, in infrastructure for the police, like license plate reading cameras, um, these cars will pop up as hot as drag racers. And so using camera systems and good detective work, we can find where these folks are parking these cars and take them, whether they're there or not. So I do think this will be an effective tool. Our police commanders have told us they're going to take full advantage of it. Also on the agenda today, Alderman Anthony Beal will once again try to get get his plan to raise the threshold on city speed cameras from six miles per hour over the limit back to 10 before writing a ticket, saying it's not really about safety, but generating money for the city. The mayor has said time and time again, lowering the threshold was all about safety, but she did talk about the money earlier this week. If that were to go into law, it would create at least a $30 million deficit this year which no one who is a supporter has said how we will replace that income, and then $40 million next year. Now, the mayor has really fought at every turn on raising the threshold of the speed cameras back to 10. If it does find support today here at City Hall, she could issue her first veto. We're live at City Hall this morning. I'm Eric Runk, WGN News.